Morning y'all, here today at one of my favorite little lakes in Arkansas. And it's mid-February, we've had some warm weather over the past few days, so I'm thinking these fish are gonna start moving up into their pre-spawn locations. So I'm gonna start off with an Alabama rig and then switch up to a crankbait and try to put some big bass in the boat. So let's get after it. Got him. Good one. That one trucked it. Good fish. Here we go. Now the size is getting a little bit better. That fish crushed that crankbait. Still not a super big one, but uh, these bites are fun. These, that fish was sitting on the uh, edge of this flat in about 10 foot of water and he just came up and destroyed that crankbait. So uh, really nice fish. What I've been doing is just cranking these uh, brush piles on the edge of this main lake flat. And what happened is that the past week this water's warmed up a lot. And I think these fish are finally pulling up in their pre-spawn locations. And these brush piles on the edge of this flat in about 10 foot of water is an ideal pre-spawn location especially if you're throwing the Strike King 5XD. So I'm gonna put this guy in the live well and then I'm um, gonna get back to it. We gotta catch some more. Awesome, so again, I got that fish on the Strike King 5XD and this bait dives about 12 to 15 feet and that's perfect for the brush piles I'm fishing right now. And basically all I'm doing is I'm casting this bait out and then I'm gonna reel it down pretty quick until I make contact with one of those brush piles. And then once I hit one of them, I'm actually going to stop my reel just a little bit and then I'm gonna kinda of just pull that bait through the brush. You don't really wanna reel it too fast in those brush piles to get those hooks hung up, but you also don't wanna stop the bait completely because a lot of times it'll get those uh, bait to kinda of go nose up and then when you reel it, it'll go straight into those limbs. So it's kind of a tricky thing to learn, cranking these uh, brush piles with deep diving crankbait. Once you figure it out, it really does catch a lot of big fish, and it's something that a lot of people don't do because they get scared of hanging up. So uh, definitely try it next time you're fishing. Got him. Throwing the 6XD now, switched it up. Gotta keep him down. I don't know how big it is. I think it's pretty big. Oh, he's not that big. Probably a solid two and three quarter, three pounder, but uh, I was actually just cranking down here trying to find some brush piles and I noticed that there was a transition on the bank up there. The lake's down about three or four feet and it goes from this like uh, normal brown dirt to a little bit more red clay. And that fish was sitting up there right on that transition. So I think there might be a group up there. Uh, I'm gonna put this in the lava real quick and get back out there though. Oh, okay, so that was, uh, kind of strange. I almost called my shot on that one. Uh, I remember watching a Bassmaster Classic a few years back uh, where they were talking about in the winter fishing these transitions from dirt to clay and so I just threw that 6XD up there right where that transition was and that fish loaded up on it so maybe there's a group of fish up here I'm not really sure. Big one, really big one, guys. Oh yeah, really nice one. <sighs> okay, I'm misjudging these fish. I think that they uh, get that crankbait in their mouth and they drag them through the water and they feel bigger than they are, but uh, it's a solid three pounder on that 6XD. Uh, just cranking on the edge of these flats again. You know what? 12 to 13 feet of water. So that's a lot better one. Uh, that's kind of what I'm looking for. I'm hoping to catch a five or six pounder. Uh, I normally do out here. So I'm gonna put this guy in the live bowl and we're gonna get another one. Hey guys, so I didn't manage to catch that kicker fish I was looking for, but I did catch a bunch of nice fish on that deep diving crankbait. And I just wanted to quickly go over the lures I was using. First off, I was throwing a Strike King 5XD in the sexy shag color. And this bait dives anywhere from 12 to 15 feet deep. And I was also throwing a Strike King 6XD in the sexy blueback herring color, and this bait dives 18 to 20 feet deep. And for my rod and reel, I was throwing a seven foot 
medium action composite crankbait rod with a 5 3 to 1 gear ratio bait casting reel and 12 pound fluorocarbon line. And normally with that 6XE, I like to throw a 7 foot 6 uh, crankbait rod, but I just didn't bring one with me today. Uh, so a 7 foot will get the job done. It just uh, doesn't uh, make casting that bait as easy and it also kind of wears you out throughout the day. Hey guys, so here are two of those nice bass I caught on that deep diving crankbait. And this is a technique that works all throughout the pre-spawn, as long as that water is above about 50 degrees. So try it next time you go to your home lake. And if you enjoyed this video, hit like and subscribe down below, and we'll see you next time.